Hey, what's up guys? Ali here. Uh, in this lesson, we're going to see how we can model these four types of polyhedrons inside of SketchUp. So uh, the first thing that we need to uh, build in order to create other types of uh, polyhedrons is the icosahedron, uh, which uh, can be built by using a golden section uh, rectangle. So I would draw a golden section rectangle over here and then make a copy of it paste it in place and then rotate it and rotate it once again in this direction and we would paste it in place once again and we this time we would rotate it in this direction and also 90 degrees in this direction so uh, this would look something like this and now uh, we want to connect all the vertices of these uh, rectangles together to create uh, this icosahedron so I would draw lines connecting these vertices together And once we have created all the faces, I would reverse all the faces so they are all turned into white and then I would group the faces and um, activate the solid inspector to delete all the internal faces. And then um, once we have fixed this uh, icosahedron, we would just close the solid inspector. And now you can see that we have this icosahedron over here. Right. So um, the next step uh, is to create a dodecahedron. So I would make a copy of this to the right and I would go inside and this time I would use a plugin called the S4U to components plugin. And I would uh, click on faces to components arrange and I would go inside this component and draw lines to find the center point of this triangle. So I would connect one vertex to the midpoint of the line uh, in front of this uh, point. And uh, once we have the center point, we would want to move it in the blue direction to about here. And after we have done that, we would do the same step. So we would draw lines. All right. Um, the thing is that this point must go. We must bring it, we must move it up as much as this point, midpoint, will go down. So it won't stick out when we draw lines. So. Once we have done that, I would draw lines to create these faces. So you can see how easily we created a pentagon without using the polygon of the SketchUp. And once we have created all the faces, this would represent the dodecahedron. Now the next step is to make a copy of this again and then use the S4U components, faces to components, arrange. And I would go inside this group and this time I would draw lines and make a copy of it from this triangle and um, so we would want to create the rhombic triacontahedron uh, and this is the shape that we have over here and this is um, actually 
created using the dodecahedron. So I would go inside this uh, group and I would activate the X-ray and draw a line connecting this center point of the, this surface to this center point and we would uh, activate the X-ray to see the line where it is and we would uh, use the tape measure tool and click on this line and then click on the midpoint of this uh, top edge as you can see over here so it would have a parallel edge to the line that we drew from the midpoints and we want to move this in the blue direction so it just connects to uh, or intersects uh, to the guideline and once it's, it is connected I would just uh, use the eraser tool to delete it and we would also want to delete this edge that was inside and we would go outside the group and then hit Control A and then explode all the faces and uh, we could just erase all the extra edges uh, we could do it this way or we could use the uh, clean up plugin from Thumb Thumb and I've assigned U for the shortcut so I would hit U and then uh, click on clean up and this would delete all the faces which is on a flat which there is no angle between the two surfaces it's just a line on a flat surface and once the rhombic triacontahedron is ready. We can create the icosidodecahedron from um, this uh, polyhedron that we have over here. So I would make a copy again uh, to the right and I would triple click and then again I would click on faces to components arrange and I would go inside and draw lines. So we would make a cross with two lines and I would just move this up to over here and now I would go outside the group and just connect these lines together. And you can see that it's creating this shape that we have over here with a pentagon and like five triangles connecting to it. I would turn it into a group once created all the faces I would turn it into a group and move it to the right and then delete this face this object and this is how easy it was to create these four types of polyhedrons using just three golden section rectangles all right this concludes the lesson of creating four types of polyhedrons in SketchUp I hope you enjoyed this lesson and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and share your comments. Thanks for watching, take care and I'll see you in the next one.